Come 12 January, Mumbai could see the inauguration of the much-awaited Sri Atal Bihari Vajpayee Trans Harbour Link by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. But why is it so important? First, at 21.8 kilometers, the Mumbai Trans Harbour Link is the longest sea bridge in the country. It will connect Mumbai to Navi Mumbai, which is a long-awaited connection. The bridge will begin from Shivri in South Mumbai to cross Thani Creek north of Elephanta Island and will terminate at Chirle village near Nava Sheva. The Trans Harbour Link will reduce the travel time from 2 hours to around 20 minutes. This is the reason why everyone has been waiting for this bridge. Now of this 21.8 km long bridge, the sea length is around 16.5 km and land portion is 5.5 km. It will be a 6 lane bridge with one emergency lane on both the sides. This will have interchanges at Shivri in Mumbai, there's Ulve, there'll be Jasai and Chirle as well. Now, MMRDA expects 70,000 vehicles to use the bridge daily for commute. And after a lot of to and fro, the toll has been fixed at 250 rupees per trip for this bridge. Now, the idea is to levy it for 30 years to cover the project cost of around 22,200 crore rupees. The Trans Harbour Link and the new airport opening up in Navi Mumbai could significantly improve connectivity to the extended eastern suburbs, that is Navi Mumbai, Panvel, Kalyan, and Dombivali area. This will also have an impact on property prices and the realty sector as a whole. A reduction in commute times and improved accessibility of newer suburbs will not only lead to more real estate development in these areas but will also drive price increases across the Mumbai metropolitan region. There could be significant volume increase over the medium term following the infrastructure boost. Also, improved connectivity within and outside the city, including the new airport, should trigger new economic activity and office demand as well. Currently, South Central Mumbai and select western suburbs see nation-high property prices of around 30,000 to 100,000 rupees per square feet. This is of course on an average, while outskirts of the city are anywhere between 5,000 to 10,000 rupees per square feet range. This price delta could narrow with this. Renowned real estate developers in the country have already started initiating under construction projects in Mumbai in proximity to this project. This move is a strategic response to the projected surge in demand for housing units due to the connectivity which will improve. Now, Panvel is also a well-planned city, right? It effectively connects the city and the western lines because of its already existing connectivity with the Mumbai-Pune Highway and the Sion Panvel Expressway. The sense of travelling or the ease of travelling to the other parts of the city only becomes more convenient. So, will you be using the Trans Harbour Link or do you think 250 rupees is a lot to pay for this? Let us know in the comments.